Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at how to take a developmental history in pediatrics. So basically in development, there are four fields that needs to be assessed in a child, uh, namely gross motor, vision and fine motor, speech and hearing, and social. So these are the four areas. I can I remember this using the acronym GFSS, your friend super sexy. You can remember it however you like, but this is how I do it. So first we'll look at gross motor. I remember uh, four milestones for gross motor. Uh, and I also remember the limit ages. So uh, limit ages are actually the ages whereby um, most of the children at this age uh, should already achieve this milestone. So about 95%, which is two standard de deviations above the mean, should already con uh, have head control by the age of four months, for example. So if they haven't uh, reached the age of four months, uh, they haven't, re haven't had head control by the age of four months, uh, then um, we should investigate further. So these are the ages to remember, the limit ages. Right, so um, the milestones are head control, sitting unsupported, stand with support, and walk independently. You can remember by chronological order, right? So first you can control the head, then you sit, then you stand, then you walk. And the numbers to remember are uh, 4, 9, 12, and 18. So 4 months, 9 months, 12 months, and 18 months, right? And in older children, let's say the child is uh, 3 or 4 years old or above, uh, you can just ask about uh, ability of the child. Can they run up and down the stairs? Yeah, this is one of the later, uh, later milestones, right? So uh, you ask depending on the child's age. So if the child is about... Uh, three months, you're going to ask about head control uh, and you're not going to ask about everything else because it's just a waste of time. It's obvious that they haven't uh, reached that yet. So let's say the child is about uh, nine months. So you're going to ask head control and sitting unsupported. And maybe you can go to stand with support because uh, they might already reach it, but this is the limit age. But you're not gonna ask walking independently or older uh, or running up and down the stairs, and likewise, if it's uh, if the child is uh, uh, six seven years old, you're gonna you're not gonna ask all this because it's obvious that they can already do this, unless there's some obvious uh, developmental delay, then you're gonna ask. Right. Next is uh, fine motor and vision. The four milestones that I remember are follow face, reach for objects, transfers objects from one hand to the other, and pincer grip. So the first part is the vision part, right? And then af after they can see the object, they're going to reach for the object and they, they can grab the object. Palmer grass that I don't include here. Uh, then uh, they can transfer object from one hand to the other and then they can pincer grip, which is gripping using only the thumb and the index finger. So the numbers to remember are 3, 6, 9, 12. Easier to remember, right? Just now was 4, 9, 12, 18. Now it's 3, 6, 9, 12. Right? 3 months, follow face. 6 months, reach for objects. 9 months, transfer. 12 months, pincer grip. And again, uh, these are usually for children below one year, 12 months is one year. So if the child is older than one year, there are um, other ways to uh, assess this, um, this field of development. So in older children, you assess for drawing, and I'm gonna show you how to assess, for how to remember the milestones for drawing. Let me get my pen here. So for drawing milestones, so I like to draw, uh, this was taught to me by my 
lecturer in my university so I just I'm just sharing this with you guys uh, it's not created by me but I'm uh, just sharing this knowledge so um, I, I draw a stick man with an antenna or rather a stick girl with an antenna so it goes like this so this is the filament of the antenna it is a straight line and the head body and legs so you draw out the hands and you complete this shape this is square and this is a triangle and then let me label of this so by one and a half years uh, the child should be able to scribble like this so this is one and a half years or 18 months and then by two years the child is uh, supposed to be able to draw a straight line and by three years the child is supposed to be able to draw a circle by four years a square and by five years a triangle right it's a very useful diagram to remember the drawing milestones uh, the fine motor milestones for older children okay so next is uh, speech and hearing uh, for speech and hearing and also the social milestone i remember five milestones so for speech and hearing the first one is polysyllabic babble uh, second is consonant babble so polysyllabic babble is uh, things like mama papa two syllables consonant babble consonants are um, anything other than vowels so not a e i o u but uh, consonants are like m and n like m and n these are consonant babbles and then um, after that is six different words with meaning uh, one word at a time so they can say one word at a time but they know six different words that has meaning and then after that uh, they manage to combine two words and after that uh, three word sentence right so um, the numbers to remember are 7, 10, 18, 2, and 2 and a half. So this is a bit difficult to remember, but the way I remember is 7 plus 10, and then add 1 is 18, and then 2 and 2 and a half. Right? And all of these are in months. 7 months, 10 months, 18 months, 2 years, 2 and a half years. Right? So, I think that's good. Right, next, lastly, is the social milestones. Uh, so, uh, same as before, I remember five milestones. That These are smiling, fear of strangers, feeding self with a spoon, symbolic play, and interactive play. Um, right, uh, smiling, they can reach this by a very young age. So by eight weeks, they already can smile. And um, fear of strangers, they might uh, show like they are uh, uncomfortable or they might cry around strangers. Um, feeding self with a spoon, uh, that's self-explanatory. Symbolic play. So uh, symbolic play is uh, some sort like um, they can play with dolls and the dolls have a uh, character. So they, the dolls symbolize a person or they play cooking or in Malay they call it main masak masak so they can imagine that they are somebody uh, who uh, they are the housewife and they are cooking for the children and things like that playing house or if, if it's a guy playing with uh, cars or planes these are symbolic plays okay and then after that comes interactive play, so they are playing with other children, right? And the ages to remember, the numbers to remember are 8, 10, 18, 2 to 2 and a half, and 3 to 3 and a half, right? So the way I remember this is 8 plus 10 is 18, then 2 to 2 and a half, 3 to 3 and a half. And one thing to take note is that 8 is in weeks, 
You can remember it quite easily because you know that for smiling, it comes really early in life. So, 8 weeks, smile. 10 months, fear of strangers. 18 months, feeding self with a spoon. 2 to 2 and a half years, symbolic play. 3 to 3 and a half years, interactive play. Right. So, these, these are all good. But you as you notice, it all goes up until um, about these milestones uh, limit ages are up to about three and a half to um, just now you have uh, the draw for drawing you had a uh, five years for triangle but what if the child is already um, in school let's say um, seven years old or 14 years old, these are still under pediatrics, they're already in school. These are all uh, not very relevant questions. So one way to tackle this, uh, for me, uh, I ask like this, for more than seven years old, I ask how are they doing in school? So that can gauge uh, their development. Right. I think that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching.